Uh, hi, I'm now going to introduce you to a product called the Smart Meter S10. It's a professional satellite meter. Um, uh, it's made by Smart Electronics in Germany. Um, it's a very, very well selling, uh, a highly selling product in Germany. And, um, you know, I, I would say for its price range, it's far superior to any satellite meter that we've seen in the Irish or the British market. Um, I'll just quickly give you an overview of what comes with it. Uh, it comes in quite a nice box. It's padded here, so it's actually ideal for transporting the box, so probably keep it afterwards. Um, and basically what we have is we have um, a holder here, the satellite meter. When you actually put the satellite meter in, you hold it in like this, put it over your neck, and you can hold it at an angle like this when you're actually aligning the dish. Um, we have a charger that goes with it. Um, we have a charger for your um, uh, uh, truck, so you, you can charge it when you're on the road. Um, and also we have a manual here that's currently in German, but we're actually in the process of having it translated in English, so that should be, uh, there's already a version of it in English on the tptrade.ie website. Just basically, I'll give you an overview of the meter itself then. Uh, we have a, uh, this is where we charge the meter, uh, here, okay? Uh, just a standard mains uh, charger there. We have a, a USB port here, and if we look on the top, we have actually a, a nice design feature on it, which is, uh, there's a safety thing here, that if you drop the meter, it won't break off the F connector, which is a real problem with other satellite meters. Uh, and you simply put an F type connector on here, screw it on, and you can clip this back on over the cable, okay? Um, uh, so that, that's it basically. In terms of the functionality then, we have a number of function buttons on it. We have a power on off button, uh, we have a scroll type mechanisms here, we have a number of menu keys here, and then we have a position where we can actually come along and um, just enter particular uh, numeric values on it. So I'll give you a quick overview of this uh, meter in action. First thing I'll do here is just press the on button. You'll see it loads up in about um, uh, sort of uh, five to six seconds. It'll simply come up with the smart TV on the screen. And then from there, it just has a menu-driven screen here. So one of the great features of this is it has a large uh, color um, uh, LCD screen here. Okay, and if we come along here, the most commonly used function here will be the TP search. So basically what we do, we go in here, it has a list of satellites, a total of 72. Um, you can align them in whatever order you want. And in this particular case, I'm just coming along, uh, I will just go for the Astro 2 satellite. I actually have an Astro 2 satellite um, connection in here from a dish that's outside. So just screw this onto the meter quite quickly. We come along and we hit um, Astro 2 and we can see there, uh, we can see the, the signal quality and strength and also the error uh, level here. So this is important for error correction, there's a lot of problems there, but we can see and in this case we have quite a strong signal. It gives us decibel levels as well. Okay, and we can use functions there. We can come down, we can choose a particular transponder, this transponder list for each one. Um, and um, that's basically it. You can come along here, if you want the F2, you can come along and you can actually view TV, uh, free to air, yes. And what you can actually do is, this is a beautiful feature on it. You can actually look at television here and uh, you can choose, uh, you know, per transponder how many channels appear in each one. Okay, so simply exit out there quickly, uh, exit out again and uh, we'll come back to the main menu. Uh, the, uh, the satellite ID is simply for if you have a signal you're not sure what satellite it's from, you simply connect it in and identify what the satellite is. The packet control is simply for, um, you can uh, check every single transponder and it'll tell you on a particular satellite, uh, is there a problem with particular packets or a particular transponder. Uh, the DISEC and DISEC motor control, this is used if you're using multiple dishes or a motorized dish system. You can actually use it to move the uh, motorized dish over and back and save particular settings. We have a spectrum analyzer, which is for, once again, identifying problems with particular signals. It's very handy if you're having, um, you know, fairly technical work and you're having particular difficulties. You can identify exactly where the problems are rising. You have the watch TV function, where you can actually just go in and watch a particular channel as it displayed um, previously. The settings here, where you can control the language, um, the volume control, um, and just the, the general uh, layout of the screen. Uh, and then we come along and we have a PC update uh, and this will we use in conjunction with a um, USB key so you can upgrade the software that comes with a particular box, uh, it's a particular meter and also you can save particular files if you, um, uh, I'll just show you actually quickly uh, uh, the final thing of something you could save onto it here. We can go um, just the exit button here brings up a particular menu in the background and here we have a whole range of things. We can go here, hit F2, F1, we bring up a compass, so we can actually use this uh, as a compass function on it. Um, uh, we can go PVR function here, where if we had a USB key uh, provided, we can actually um, record video uh, directly off of this onto a USB key, uh, or we can take snapshots. And that could be quite convenient if we were trying to get sort of an, an exotic satellite dish, and we're bringing it down. 
and show it to a customer. We can actually play back video of something that we've seen when we're aligning the dish in a, in a, up on top of the roof. Uh, and that's basically it. So you can see here, it's a very, very comprehensive um, satellite meter. Uh, a reasonable battery charge on it. And at the price that it's on, I, I would say it's definitely very much a winner on the, on the Irish and uh, UK markets.